Hi guys, it's Mel here from LW Scrapping. Welcome back to my channel. And as you can see, I've had a tidy up. I tidied up the floor or one half of the floor. I've still got one half to go. Um, tidied up one half of the floor. Um, oh, I just got stuff all over that. Trust me. It'll come off. Um, last night and then I tidied my desk this morning before I even started. Because I thought, hang on, I just can't, I can't work with this disaster area. So, I am going to do a layout today for you for um, 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life, Series 11, Day 25. And today is Adam's, Adam Westwood's um, sketch. He does some really good work. I love Adam's stuff. Um, this is it here. Um, but as usual, Adam, sorry, I'm going rogue. Um, I'm keeping it in that direction. But instead of three photos, I'm going four. Um, I'm also using a cut file because it looked like on that he had one, two, three, four different, different, you know, colours or variations. Okay, so I've gone one, two, three, and I'm using my cut file as the fourth one. This was a cut file that I got off Jackie um, last year because I was going to do the 30 days of cut files or something, 20 days of cut files at Christmas time, but they didn't quite get here in time, you know, even though Jackie had sent them in plenty of time. Um, and so I said to Jackie that next year I will just keep going on with, you know, Christmas in January, February, March, April, and I'll just get them done. I'm going to get them used. So this was the Christmas foliage, and it's from Confessions of a Paper Attic. So if you want to go and check them out, they have some beautiful things. Um, and I think Jackie and there's a few others that are actually on the design team for Confessions of a Paper Attic. Okay, so with that, I thought, okay, let's do that. Let's just keep it white on the colour. So I've gone this very busy piece of paper that I would never use in a million years on the back. I've gone a light blue, of all things, with this green and then the white. And I've got my four photos that I'm going to pop slightly a bit diff. Oh, that wasn't stuck down. Oh, here I was thinking that was already stuck down. So as you can tell, I'm going slightly crazy because I didn't really know. I mean, I love Adam's sketch, but I just didn't know what I was going to do because it fell on Christmas in how I was going to do it all. So what I've got here, without, I don't want to cover too much up, I think I'm going to go like that. Okay, something like that. Let's let's go. Let's go like that. Okay, that's how it gone. That's how it gone. So let me just stick stick a picture. Um, this was Christmas lunch. 2021 okay um it was just the three of us because i had asked my mum and she said well no it's our turn to go to your sisters and i'd completely forgotten and i went oh okay because you know as, as it is um i forget these things but anyway as you do so, well, just the three of us until tea time. Um, and then mum and dad come down after that. They came for tea. They normally do it, you know, my sister one year for lunch and ask for tea and then ask for lunch one year and my sister for tea, which works out really well. Because, for one, I love cooking Christmas lunch. So, I just cooked well turkey and... And um, we had our Christmas lunch and everyone, like Danina, got to play with this stuff. I mean, I know she's getting a bit older and 
you know, there's not too many toys and things, but she still likes a Lego. She likes the complicated Lego. It's like, don't look at me, child. I don't know how to put that together. So Darren has to help her every now and then. She likes the Technic stuff. Um, you know, where you can put the motor together and get it to move and all this other fancy stuff. So I'm going like that. So I wanted to do the photos. This is how I had us set out um, the table set. So I had our um, glasses, um, our bonbons and the cutlery and everything set out. And I have Santa, my Santa. He's always in the middle as well. Uh, he's actually a cookie jar, but I put chocolates in him every year. Um, you know, and then I did um, did my turkey. We had our ham and I did roast vegetables like um, potato, pumpkin, carrot. Um, and then for myself, uh, I think I did some peas and corn for... Oh, no, I don't think Darren had that that year. I just did some um, zucchini, steamed zucchini and cauliflower and white sauce I had with mine. And I have these little bubbles that you can put a name tag in. I use them every year without fail. So some of this is going to get covered up because I want to put my little 25 down here with a little tag in it. And then I don't think I'll pop anything up here. Um, so last year I actually made a advent calendar. Uh, I went to my local store and I saw where the lady there had actually made one. I'll come up a bit. But it goes about there so that that looks that's the area for the stars on that side I'll just leave that blank um, and I've got a couple of things out yep that one's that one now he had that at the top so the title went like this so let's go can you press through I don't know if these are actually going to stick Oh, this is paper. These are old stickers. I can't remember where I was going. Oh, that's right. And I saw that she'd made an advent calendar. And I said, can you show me how you did that? So they got me all organised, got the paper and everything. And I went, I come home and I made my own little envelopes out of card and whatever red card I had left. I cut these little squares out and I had some gold washi tape. And I put that around the edge first and I went to town and I just put it on... Um, you know the um, really thick chipboard card at the back of your paper pads I used two of those put the, pop them together and um, <clears throat> you know duct taped them on the back and then filled these little pockets with a chocolate because I was finding that the advent calendars that I was buying with the chocolates in them for Danina and I'd buy one for Darren because you know they're both chocolates. Um, I don't know if this title is even going to stand out, but this is what we're using. Um, Danina wasn't eating the chocolate because she said it just didn't taste like normal Cadbury chocolate. So I thought I'm not wasting my money because it's they're ex the, believe it or not, the advent calendars are getting expensive now, like they're not you know a five dollar thing anymore. I think I was paying nearly $10 for each one. One for Darren, one for Danina. And look, hey, I got everything for $10 for one. That included the chocolate. So I got them on special. I had a couple of arrows and I thought, let's use them. Let's put some pop dots on those ones. That one down. 
and so that's what I did. I made my own and I can reuse it. And all I have to do next year is um, buy the chocolates to fill it up. I'm just going to go like that. Okay, so we're going to, that's, that's for journaling on. There is our four photos, and I just wanted to put this little, for us it's not, I don't know if I've got a Christmas Australian one, we don't have, that's not going to stay tight, um, oh well, we don't have um, snow here for Christmas, we have sun and heat. I'll just go to the bottom of this container and see what I've got left. I've got a, that's too big. Oh, it is a bit big too. Santa surfboard. Oh, oh we've got a little kid now we could go on. Little echidna can go on with his little. Mm. But we'll do just nicely. I'm not going to over embellish today. You can go up on foam. It can be my Christmas thing. Because really, the Christmas foliage is all that's really needed on there. Because it's about food, so I've got my little, um, actually that's an echidna too, so that works out well. Huh. That's a 25 for the 25th, because that's what we wear. We'll go up a bit here like so. That way we can pull our little journal box out. Let me just clean up. And then didn't realise I had some stuff over there. Now, might be able to stick some little stockings on here. Uh, let's just go a little stocking in between each photo. Like that. I was going to fill some of the things where the berries are up with Milo drops. Now, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Adam's got some things up in the corner. I wonder if I could just do some little ones. Just a little... That's a thick black. Where's my paint pens? Paint pens. Watercolour brush pens. Which one is black? That one. By the looks of it. Kidna up a bit. There we go. Go like that. Not really work very well up on that one. There we go. Let's just come up a bit further. That with our paint pen. Well, I probably should have done a green. Let's call everything green. Just real. Go 
like that. One out of the way. Now, these would have little red bearings, so I'm going to fill these up with this. It's not a red red, it's um, rhubarb crumble. So I'm going to fill these areas up with Nuvo. Like so. There we go. Showing through. And now we've got that light blue behind. Let's do the center of the flowers. Let's go with the center of the flowers, a glitter blue. As you can tell, I don't use cut files very often, so I just thought this would have been a little bit daunting to try and back with colors. So I just wanted to fill in some parts. Starting it with the flowers. Oh, there's one down here. There. Gonna stick one on those, even though there's not a hole there. Let's go darts. Right. I'm done. I'm happy. I'll give you a bit of a close up. Yes, it probably looks messy with that bit at the top, but it just makes. Oh, I don't know. I like it. I don't know if I like it or not, but I like the actual layout. And I like how I've set it out. Um, so, if you think you might like to have a go at this layout, press pause, take a screenshot and have a go. Of course, you don't need to have the cut file. You can put just a different bit of paper. Um, and you won't, you know, of course, only go with three photos like Adam did, unlike me, who went with the four. Um, at the same time, if you do like what I've done, if you could give me a thumbs up, that would be great. Um, there's going to be... The playlist for 30 days of sketches, um, as well as all the people playing along with Christmas in March. I will have all the details down below in the description box. Go and check them out. As well as Adam's um, YouTube channel for his, um, to go and check him out as well. Um, and um, any Facebook groups as well. So... Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers and new subscribers. Now, if you are new to my channel, I hope I've done enough for you to consider subscribing. I've done something a little bit different, a bit out of my comfort zone. Probably shouldn't have done this bit, but I have. Um, I can always cover it up with something later on. I don't know what, but we could. Uh, what's the other thing we could do? You know what else we could do? I put Nuvo drops going down as well. Uh, let's go with I don't know if I've got any blue gems. Let's go with the blue. Well, that's purple. That's the completely wrong colour. Um, I hope I've done enough for you guys to consider subscribing. I would love to have you join my my subscribers on my channel I love having my channel grow I love doing my don't love the Nuvo drops so much when they don't want to come out wow okay we've got a okay so we won't be doing that right now I have to find a pin and unblock it I think that will work. 
bit of pin, I think. Somewhere in there we've got, we just used it and now it's point work anyway. Um, okay, so I might put some Nevo drops going along there. Um, so yes, so please consider joining. It doesn't, it doesn't, subscribing, not joining. Uh, it doesn't cost to subscribe, like or comment. The same with all the other people down below in the description box. It doesn't cost to subscribe, like or comment to them either. Um, and yeah, check everyone out. Thank you for watching and I'll stop talking and bye for now.